this is my intro for today. Like, do you just like feel that way about your pets? You know where they do anything. They yawn. Oh, precious. Cross their paws. Oh, he doesn't do that bullet. He stretches and it's it melts me. Yeah. He really wants a brother or sister. Like, that's what he really wants, I'm telling you. Loki's the kind of dog who just, he needs a companion. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, oh, he's a big boy. He's, he's a big boy. Went to Dollar Tree? Let me show you what I got. But first, if you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Marie, and I love this store. I've been shopping at the store longer than I've had my daughter. She's 23. Um, I go several times a week, and what I like to do is show you guys as quickly as I can what I'm finding as I'm going there, um, because Dollar Tree is a very unique store where things just come in and out randomly or through their warehouse. You just never know, and it goes in and it goes out even quicker. So if you want to just kind of keep up with what's going on through the store, hit subscribe, and I'll show you guys what's going on. So I did not really have, I don't really have any expectations right now, considering it's December 19th and Christmas is a few days away. I don't feel like most Dollar Trees are gonna be really doing much of stocking their shelves, but you never know. Um, so the fact that I hit this little mini jackpot is kind of surprising me. So with that said, I've got three bags. Let's start with the first one. I found these little Harry and David, which is a really big brand. They're like the ones who do like those beautiful like fruit and cheese meat baskets online. So the fact that there is the K cups at Dollar Tree, this is a run, run go get this. This would also be great in a stocking stuffer. Look how sleek it is. If you need to do a last minute gift basket, this would be cute in there. You get four K cups in here. And this is a vanilla cream brulee. Keeping that for me, I'm telling y'all. Um, I'm honestly shook that I found these socks because I feel like the sock situation at Dollar Tree is not living up to what I need it to because all of my socks are from Dollar Tree, if you know me, 10 out of 10. I personally just love them. I know there are better quality socks out there. Like, let's just face it, there are. But they work just fine for me. So for me, they're a 10 out of 10. Um, I love these. And I, again, I was very surprised they were on the shelf because everything else was like gone. I need a cough drop, so I'm gonna grab one. But if you watch my Walmart haul, I love the cherry. Highly, highly rate it. So pop that in real quick. Um, all right, I picked up Mamba. Gonna put this in Micah's stocking. It's my favorite candy as a child. Like I remember walking to the gas station and I would get Mambas in the 90s. Um, and I passed on that love of this to Micah as well. We're definitely an original mix kind of girl. I know they've made several different flavors and stuff, but the original, it's unbeatable, especially the raspberry. Sorry about that. All right, next up, I would say this is also another hightail it to Dollar Tree when you can, because this is a new drop. I found this in the toy aisle and they are play clay hair salon like i want to play with it you've, you've got the, the knife i don't know why a knife needs to be involved in a salon process but here we are you've got a comb and and like it's the pets i found the cat and i found the dog and then you've got the clay and i guess you like load it and then you push it through and it creates their hair and then you like you cut their hair it has dollar tree's warehouse information on the back what are they doing to us? Anyways. Get those. 
All right, I had to get some tape. I noticed that some of the tape I had is not the translucent kind, and those just aren't the greatest. I don't even know why those are even like tape in this world, um, but I definitely like the translucent kind. So I got, I think I got two packages of those. Let me show you guys some really interesting new little treats that came out, especially if you want to do some type of charcuterie board, because hello, I've never seen this at Dollar Tree. So this is new-ish. Um, mini toast with wheat flour. They're just like little biscuits. You could do bruschetta, all kinds of things. I mean, absolutely amazing. It's technically bruschetta, but neither here nor there. And this is coming from a full-blooded Italian. I do also say bruschetta just because, you know, it's what you hear all the time, but the, the technical pronunciation is bruschetta. Anyways, I don't know why I'm, I'm teaching Italian today. Um, okay, but then I found these little cute jams. Like, how adorable are these? We've got a strawberry vanilla jam, which I've never, I would ever even think to pair that. Then we've got a forest fruit jam, and they're very pretty, so they're also going to look great in a gift basket. So just throwing that out there. Um, here's the other tape that I got. I found this maple syrup. It's giving baby boom. It's giving Elizabeth um, maple syrup made in Vermont. How cute is this little bottle? Like, I don't know. That's precious to me. This is another shocking find. Reusable glass straws with the cleaner. And you get several different colors in here. This is absolutely amazing, especially maybe if you're gifting like a tumbler or Stanley cup or I don't know, something. This could be a great item for a stocking stuffer. I, just to let you guys know where I found this, I found this in the aisle with all the foil, like the back aisle. It's usually the very back aisle with the oven mitts, the foil, the trash bags. Um, this was like hanging on one of those like, you know, clip displays, if that makes sense. So if that helps anybody. <clears throat> all right, next up, I found these. I'm actually really excited for these. They seem so simple, but I'm very excited to, to have found these. These are facial mask remover sponges. Facial mask remover. That is very interesting because really this could be for anything. Um, but the reason why I'm excited about this is because I watched this girl on TikTok. I think her name is Kaylee. I think her name is Kaylee. Um, <clears throat> she's pretty big. She's got the TikTok blue check and her whole niche is like ASMR videos, day in the life videos. And she found these like little heart sponges from Amazon and they're like thin as paper though. But as soon as you run them underwater, they expand and they get like this. Um, and I thought that was really cute. But even though these aren't thin as paper, they're already expanded and ready to go. I just, it made me kind of feel like that. And I think these would be really cute to put one in my stocking and one in Micah's. So that's what I'm doing with it. That's why I'm excited about it. It's pretty random. Then I picked up this retinol skin aging cream. I love this global beauty line. Also, I don't know if you guys know who Bethany Frankel is. I feel like she was like in the housewives or whatever. If you watch her TikTok, she is always waltzing into Dollar Tree news alert and she highly recommends a lot of the makeup a lot of the skincare so i watch her too just because you know i don't know everything about everything i just don't i don't know all the ingredients i don't sometimes i just don't want to dive and 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 you know pump that information in my brain so it's nice watching somebody who's already done the legwork for you and i'll watch her and just kind of like listen to her talk about you know the ingredients and skincare and like what she loves from dollar tree she loves this stuff so there you go um then i found this i'm so excited i'm i don't even know honestly how i'm scoring this jackpot a few days before christmas but this is crystal waters never heard of that brand coconut scented bath dust it's giving lush and i like it coconut scented Okay, and I found this guy. Never seen this before. This is O Christmas tree. This is a pine mist for artificial tree and room. Why am I just now finding this? 
you can just, you know? I don't want to spray it on my ornaments because I don't know what it's going to do. It smells pretty decent. I, yeah, it's giving I'm out in the woods having a walk um, and hopefully I won't be abducted. That's, yeah, that's what it's giving. Then I found that Be Pure put out this product right here. Let me tell you, this is why I love talking umbrella brands underneath Dollar Tree um, because then you start to kind of like really get familiar and you become a smarter shopper in Dollar Tree, meaning like you know what brands to kind of look for that you like and you know, you, you can generally get a, a feel for how often they turn products around and maybe how often you feel like you want to pop into Dollar Tree and just double check. But Be Pure is something that's been recently new to Dollar Tree and they are popping off. I feel like in a lot of ways, Be Pure is outdoing Bolero because Bolero used to be like the thing. Now I feel like it's Be Pure. That's my opinion. This is a cream cleanser, paraben free, phthalate free, however you say it, phthalate, I don't know. Cleanses and gently exfoliates for a smoother skin. I don't actually have a cream cleanser and I've been wanting to implement a double cleanse routine into my skincare. So I'm thinking that'll do it. Okay, next up, I picked up this um, cotton candy. The thing about Dollar Tree is that they actually do a lot of cotton candy throughout the year. And they'll do holiday cotton candy, like Halloween and stuff. They do summer, like watermelon. So always be on the lookout for that because it's really cute. It'd be great for care packages and gift baskets, all the things, or to stock. Maybe you're gonna do a movie night, whatever. You know, this is cute. Then I found some new masks. Look how amazing these are. I really like the packaging on it. So we've got charcoal and I believe you, you get one mask. This is women owned, by the way. Mm, love that. And um, this one is retinol, watermelon and glycolic acid. Quick little grabs for last minute stocking stuffers. So I got that. Now I believe I've already hauled this little book. I had to do it again. The question I have is that this book also looks like this, it's in the same condition as the other one that I hauled. Like they went through it. The way that they were shipped, I think, they, they kind of got slightly damaged and ruined, but I had to just get this again. I really like the black and white of this. I think it would be really cute. Um, for junk journal theme. And you guys know I love like robots. I love when they put out little robot stickers. So I thought that, you know, I don't know, you know how I am. I'll go back to Dollar Tree and I'll grab the same thing over and over and over because I don't even know. Then I found these uh, craft fabrics. This is a new print. I do not have this in my collection. Dollar Tree has other ones that they're still selling right now, but I already have those. I don't know how to describe those prints, but I just know I don't have this print. And it's actually really cute. Super cute. And they're just like little fabric pieces. So I got that. I um, actually got two of those. And then I did pick up a Sudoku book. Just good old puzzle book. Put this under the tree for me. Um, and then, if you guys remember, I hauled these Monopoly activity pads from Crayola and in that video I said how they had Mr. Potato Head and I didn't grab it but then I said if I saw it again I would grab it so I did. So here is Mr. Potato Head. You should go watch that video and see the Monopoly one because oh my gosh I wish I had it on hand with me. It's in my craft room but let me tell you the other one I just found. Not Candyland. Give me anything that is colorful, which is so funny because I'm the least colorful person when it comes to clothing. But when it comes to anything else, I love color. I think it's just growing up like Lisa Frank, maybe. Um, I love this. I got three of them, clearly. I love it. Um, but they're just like little activity sheets. These would just be so cute for me personally, for junk journaling, but obviously you're maybe you're getting your ideas of your own for this, for the kids, because that's obviously who this is made for. 
You get sticker sheets in here too, which is really cute. But I also love the cover. Like I'll also work with this cover. I'll kind of cut around all of this and just try to use as much of the image that I can. Also just like leaving it in this format too is completely doable. That's the thing about junk journaling is zero rules, zero. And it feels so freeing to not feel so perfect with it sometimes. Um, but anyways, that is probably my, not probably, this is my favorite find of the week. Anyways, that's it for today's video. Comment down below, let me know what your shopping list is from what you saw from today's video. I kind of want to see what you guys are interested in. Um, but I have to say, it's a small haul that I usually do, but it definitely packs a punch. Um, I'll just show you guys, I maybe like my top three. This, this, this is hard. Do I go socks? Or, I mean, okay. What's my third one going to be? Hmm. I think I'm gonna go for the coffee. These are gonna be my top three favorite items of this haul. So anyways, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye.